Hey guys, uh, I'm just filming this video today because uh, I've had a little bit of a breakthrough with one of my smart home devices. The device in question is the Yale Sync Security Alarm System. And for those of you that know, you know. You know, if you, if you came here, you probably searched for this. And, uh, well, I've had a little bit of a fix for your problems. The problem with the alarm is, of course, that it is not compatible with routines. Well, there's a new feature on the Alexa app, which means that you can enter a custom command uh, as if you were issuing a voice command. And um, as it is, you, you have very limited functionality with the Yale Sync anyway. Yes, you can issue a voice command, but it has to be very specific. Uh, and you cannot do anything with a routine. Well, now you are able to create a routine and you are able to control your Yale Sync with that routine. So this video is going to be going into a little bit of that, just showing you how to do that so that you can get full functionality out of your Yale Sync Alarm. You want to go onto your Alexa app on your phone. I'm using the iPhone version. Uh, go into your routines and you're going to go to add routine as you normally would. Uh, we'll enter a name. We'll call this one arm test as we're just doing this as an example. And then you can go ahead and choose what it is that makes that routine run. So this gives us a lot more flexibility uh, as to what it is we can use to actually set our alarm now. Um, if you wanted to, you would be able to set it onto a schedule. So you could have it so that it turns on at a certain time each day. Or you could have another device in your house activate it. Uh, or even an echo button if you have one of those. You know, that way it instantly activates. Uh, we're going to use a voice command for now. And... This is where it gets interesting. You don't have to use the standard phrasing that the skill would ask you. You can use whatever phrase you want, be it however random it is. Uh, we could make something up here. We'll say something silly like uh, initiate lockdown. And um, we then have to choose an action. So this is the bit that everybody gets stuck on. Usually with this security system, you'd normally go in smart home and you'd go in your devices and you'd find your hub. Uh, and unfortunately, when you do go to find the yay or sync, the house alarm or hub is uh, unsupported. So this is where the workaround comes in. You want to come out of that and you want to actually go all the way to the bottom of the list of uh, different things you can add to customized. And what this does, when you go on customized here, um, it, is, it is basically imitating a voice command. So what it will do is it, it is as if you are saying it to Alexa um, and then that way you can just say whatever you want and if you have a skill that is, needs a specific phrase then it will do that um, so in the case of the Yale sync we can say uh, arm and then the name of your alarm so house alarm is what I called mine um, and then if you want you can also even put in uh, the mode that you want it in so I'll put in stay mode uh, so then that will be just uh, the stay mode um, <clears throat> that is basically all you need to get that to work. But obviously it's a, a routine, so we can also add other actions to it. So why don't we put something else in there as well? We could do, uh, let me think. We could do, I know. Why don't we do, not notification, we could do uh, an announcement. Uh, so we could say, let me think. Lockdown. <laughs> lockdown initiated uh, all entry points will be secured so then that will also be a part of that routine obviously you know how routines work if you if you understand Alexa um, so we'll save that and this is what you get Alexa initiate lockdown Lockdown initiated. All entry points will be secured. House alarm is armed in stay mode. That's how we do that. Now we're going to set up a pin because you're going to need this for disarming it. So if you go into your devices, find it there, and then you need to activate disarm by voice. So you will, when you activate that, it will prompt you to enter a four digit voice code you don't have to use the voice code all the time but you you do need that so that it works with the routine 
then go back into your routines and go to add a new routine this is going to be your disarming routine now so we'll call it disarm test and then we're going to choose the trigger that disarms the alarm so again it's entirely down to you what you use you've got all of these options here you know schedules an echo button whatever just be cautious what you do use to disarm your alarm um you don't even have to have a disarming one but if you want it it's here so if you had a phrase you know be careful what what you use don't just use something obvious like alexa disarm the alarm because if somebody overhears that then they're gonna know that they can disarm the alarm just by asking her for the sake of this video we'll say something like the sun is shining there we go so we put a random phrase in and when you go into the action you're gonna need to do the same thing that you did for the army ones so it's not in smart home you want to go down to the bottom down to customized and this is where you're gonna have to you've got a couple of choices here as well so if you really wanted to you can you can put in it the basic skill one is just disarm and then the name of your alarm so you could say disarm a house alarm and then that would be that so if i put disarm the house alarm um it would then as part of that routine it would activate the skill version so it would say it it would go through but then she would ask for your pin so that's an extra level of security if you want that if you don't want her to ask you can just put in your pin number at the end of it and she won't ask for your pin so that is basically it right there that is the, the disarm one um, if you were to run that then it would disarm just for a bit of fun we're going to because we're making a routine we're going to just put uh, something else in here so we'll get her to say we'll get her to respond to my 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 random phrase uh, so i'll say the birds are singing and <laughs> then uh, that will that will be basically our, our disarming routine There's a little bit of speaking in code i guess you will notice that when you try to move the action the the command it has to be the last one in the routine. You can't change that. So just bear that in mind when you program it. Alexa, the sun is shining. And the birds are singing. House alarm is disarmed. Well, there you have it. Uh, I hope that was useful for somebody out there even if just one person sees this and they can make use of it i'm happy because uh, i mean my <laughs> my reaction when i figured out that i could do that i was like oh my god this is amazing i need to get this information out there people need to know um because there are i know there are a lot of people out there that have bought this system and they have not got what they paid for and frankly it is it's false economy you should not be selling that system saying it's compatible with Alexa, but really it's not really properly compatible, is it? You know, so um, as far as I'm concerned, Yale is kind of selling false economy with that. But we have a workaround now. We can go with that. I've now got full functionality from my, my security system, which is what I wanted in the first place. Um, and I really, really hope that this guide has been useful for anybody, you know, and you can now start experiencing it to the fullest with your your security system as well so yeah um that was literally it that's all i wanted to do is just help out a few people that are having the same problem that i had all right i hope you enjoyed the video feel free to like and subscribe and uh yeah see you around